Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. No, because I know some of you. Hey, Shan Shan, can I call you a Tarumoneka? Tarumoneka. So, really, what Balungu was doing, Kukoch Kudia, I sympathize with him. I sympathize with him. Why I sympathize with him? Because, really, the situation is not very good, Kulibalungu. The situation is, is not very good. Balungu is, 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 is in deep, deep, deep hole. That's where he is. Balungu can't survive. Balungu, kushika po fielova, kushika po fielova. Tapa no, 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 ka won foko wale punda, takuli. Why? Because, first of all, he doesn't have the people. He doesn't have the people that can sustain this. He doesn't. He doesn't. Don't be cheat, don't say, don't, don't cheat at, no. Epo tuli, epo tuli, epo tuli. You can't do nothing. You can't do nothing. And what brings people is resources. And those resources are not Katwishta Shimoneka. So he can't. He can't. So if you are a young person and whatever, whatever, in end and death, to help you, if you are a young person who is struggling, who is frustrated with this government, I'm telling you that Valungu is not a solution. Don't do anything in the name of Valungu because at the end of the day, Ukashala Weka, you've been problems in a panel. So, Patrius then Kabaku court. I don't even have lawyers. Patrius then Kabaku court. And I've been struggling. I still I still have those court cases. Valungu Varikudia. Elena, whenever Valungu, things will overwhelm him. Of course, as much as I'm saying this, I am against the idea of removing immunity of Valungu. I'm against that idea. Because we cannot keep on doing this. Every former president, Mwambo Kufumia immunity, uh -uh. I'm against Ifea Kufumia immunity. I am against Ifea Kufumia immunity kuli Valungu. Never mungu fiction. Then, I am against this idea of saying, no, Valungu is not eligible. I don't think that is the way we should handle Valungu. No, I don't agree. Because we will be discrediting our courts. We can't take the same court that will, the same case that was adjudicated upon to a Shaku court. We can't do that. Come on. What are we trying to do? We are trying to show that as long as whoever is in power controls the courts. Because that's what we are basically doing. If you take this case back to court, you are basically saying no, because now UPND is in power, let us have a different judgment. No. Judgment should surpass governments. It should not be because could PF judgment Yavif, because could UPND judgment Yavif. It's not right. So the issue of eligibility, let us pass over that. That one is gone. Whether those judges uh, were not uh, uh, rendered a wrong judgment. It doesn't matter. Let us pass that one. It was passed in the constitutional court. Let us forget about that one. That one is completely gone. I'll be very disappointed if you if you PND and don't tell me no, it's not you PND and whatever whatever. Come on, forget it. We know these things. We know these things. We know how these things are done. So me, I'm telling you that going to court. Throwing back the eligibility issue in court, it will not do good. And me, I will not support it. 
I will not support it. I will criticize it as I'm criticizing it now. Taking the eligibility back to court is wrong. Going for Edgar Lungu and removing immunity is wrong. Much as Edgar Lungu is calling for it. For it. By Edgar Lungu is calling for it. How is he calling for it? He's calling for it because he is, you know, he's, he's putting up fists to say he can box, politically box, with the incumbent. You don't do that. You can be powerful, you can be anything, you just don't do that. You don't dare the incumbent, you don't. And some of these things, you people who like to defend if you if you are some of you like to defend if you are you should be turning around the coin. You should be turning around the coin and say, suppose it was HH. Suppose it was HH. Imagine Fidawa Rungu Wax ne Pakot. Fidawa Nadi Tumpa in a Bafka Pot Pakoda in a Kutna Ingram. Imingalat. What? Suppose it is HH that did that. Suppose it is, just think of it. What would have happened? What would have happened? Did Balungo have the patience? He didn't. We should actually commend Haka in the at least he can even tolerate that. Because Balungo would, would not have tolerated that. Ngavaria wa fumia wa 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 HH. Muma banka ya Ngavaria wa fumia just that day Ngavaria wa fumia. But at least this man, that's why really for me, you know, he's got his own weaknesses. That's for sure. I will not run away from that. But at least you can see that Katora runs. Because by Ed Galungu, Ketua Wachitrefidia, Paspakoti, Naritumpa, Ine, Ndala. Tiba akuleka wa Lungu. Kutiba akuleka. So some of these things, if it's sticker, you should put it to say, suppose it was HH, how would have Balungu reacted? You should be thinking like that. So, the Edgar Lungu really, the Edgar Lungu really, I sympathize with him, the route that he's taking. The, you cannot, you cannot do that. You cannot do that, daring the incumbent. So, some of these activities might render him into more serious problems because he's in problems already. He's in problems already. I mean, look, you people, uh, somebody was saying, no, there is no reason to remove immunity. Me, I'm saying, look, are, are these people thinking properly? Because the cases that surrounds Many people, all those already attached to Kuli Balungu. Balungu is the center. The properties that they have gotten from Dali Solungu. Dali Solungu says, it's my father. All the children have said, these properties, we got them from my, from my father. Even this issue, eh, this vehicle, this vehicle and the house, even this issue, why is Galungu is at the center? So really, if you are talking about removing immunity, if you are talking about removing immunity, you should, you should, don't, don't think that it is too difficult. It's not difficult. Because all these cases, all these cases, why is Galungu is at the center? Is at the center. 400,000 is at the center. Our now one say, no, we got things from the father. So really, I mean, to remove immunity is very easy. Very easy. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Parliament, they need the two-third majority. Two-third majority in parliament. If we're forever more, we have, a, we, we have an opportunity of listening to some of the comments that MPs make. MPs, a number of MPs, a number of MPs, 
A number of MPs, they are not happy with my Edgar Lungu. A number of MPs, they are not happy with my Edgar Lungu. They are not happy. They are not happy. Do you want me to give you evidence that they are not happy? I'm not going to mention names, but I'll give you an incidence where PF was looking for the constitutional conference money. They were looking for a constitutional conference money. They gave a committee to come up with a constitutional fund, isn't it? To change the constitution. And they said, we don't have the money. MPs, MPs, they came together and contributed the money. As we are speaking, they managed to raise the money that is required for that constitutional review. Constitutional conference. Why did they want a constitutional conference? They wanted a constitutional conference so that after a constitutional conference, they can now go for the convention. Why do they want a convention if Ed Galungu, they are in support of Ed Galungu? Just ask yourself, just ask yourself that if I'm an MPs, they are in favor of Ed Galungu. I am asking you a question. Why did the, the, the MPs contribute money Including Mao Sampa, Alistair contribute. Including Tuankane, Atnan, eh, eh, this Anton from Mufuri. Including Uyua Kunankane Kuchama. They all contributed. So I'm asking you, if MPs are with Edgar Lungu, why did they contribute money for the Constitutional Conference? Why did they take it upon themselves to say, we must contribute the money, we must have a Constitutional Conference? And after having a constitutional conference, what they want is a convention. Now, why would somebody want a convention if at all they are saying Ed Galungu is a president? They can only ask for a convention because they want a change. They want a change. But PF, and then Your MPs. They are not with Edgar Lungu. But those that have interacted with, a number of them that have interacted with, they are not, uh, they are not happy. So, what, what I'm basically saying is that if there is an issue of, 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 of removing the immunity, some MPs, you might be shocked. You might be shocked. They might come forward. They might come forward and just vote for that. They might come forward and vote for that. If that is the only way that can get by Ed Galungu out of the way, they might just go for it. And look, don't act like, you know, you know, you are superpowers by the PF. Don't act like you are superpowers. HH beat you on Bill 10 when you are in power. HH beat you when you were when you are in power with a majority, HH beat you on Bill 10. He beat you on Bill 10. Now he's in power. He has got the instrument of power. He has got power in his hands. Are you telling me he can fail to beat you party, be, pa, pa, uh, on the two-thirds of removing immunity if they decide to do so? Are you telling me they can, he can fail to do that? So, what I'm, the point I'm making is that Valungu tapali opo we minine ya kwa tuwale fungana makofi tapali opo we minine fila wale kista Valungu fidia kuile terera kuile terera mule ile terera I'm telling you eh? you are bringing yourself eh? if I can directly translate that you are bringing yourself you are exposing yourself to danger. You can be a serious political punching bag that you will, you will, you will, you will curse the day that you, you thought you could come back. If that man decides to really fix you, if he decides to fix you, and on this one, that's why I'm saying, but really, I don't think it's that bad. I don't think it's that bad. Because Katora and Square no pokari. Ninka monai. Katora and Sopokari Mdara. 
Mamu tamako e tupo mimi ne. He can't. Na mwa leva chita ntoa ni kani mwa leva pushinga. Tamu wa kuati rolu se. Tamu wa kuati rolu se. You are not feeling for the man. Whoever is pushing balungu, you are not feeling for the man. Because the man really stands nowhere. He doesn't need to be in jail. He doesn't need to be in jail, for example. Just the fact that you can have three, four, five cases every day we are going to court, every day we are going to court, they are going to court. They are going to court. They made sure two, week, two days, two days in a week, they are court. Two days in a week, they are court. That is stressful on its own. That is jail, Ndal. That is jail. Balungu kutibawa kutibawa panga bize Ndala. He can't even campaign. He can't even campaign. Because these cases are there. These cases are there. These cases are there. Because, for example, just 400, 400 bin. Ida in a 400 bin. Yes, you can say, no, um, eh, I mean, what is 400 bin? from a former president, whatever, whatever. But the point is, if they bring it to say, can you explain? And they bring you Kukoti. You won't refuse. You keep on going. And the parliament cannot stop you from answering or explaining where you got the 400 p. Eh? It is not much money, but I'm just telling you that if government wants, they can do it. We don't want to Ndamone fintu, namona na loresha kwa, hey, yala vipe, yala vipe, na asela ko. So, valungu, teti wa ikuanishe. Yes, no tayari, but you are supporting it. Yes, I was supporting it. Because I thought valungu can sustain it, sustain it personally. Because I thought valungu would have a strategy. Because I thought Balungu would have the finances to support the, the agenda. Because I thought there will be people, people with strategy, people with strength that would come around Balungu. I didn't see all that. I didn't see it. Since I didn't see it, should I continue? Should I continue? No. I would be a fool. I would be a fool. That's why I withdrew. If you want to join the bandwagon, join the bandwagon. But you can jibu kisha loka wa maseos. You can jibu kisha. Especially in Gori Mwaiche. You will be inside Walungu Tawake Seko no Kwisako. At least Fred Membe, alea kona kukana kantapa. To go and see the, uh, his person. Walungu Taweza kwa maseos. Wako nkele kufia waka shivago chapwa. But at least Fred Membe alea. Nomba Walungu Tawake Seko na kukoti. Tawake Seko. <laughs> in a nutshell, basically what I'm saying is that true, we have challenges in this country. We have challenges, no doubt. Commodity prices, we have challenges. Fuel, mini meal prices, we have challenges, that's for sure. But some of these problems, they are not entirely as a result of, because the Hakai Ndechile is in status, no, that's not true. Some of these problems are as a result of what is happening elsewhere. Of course, we need to grow solutions. We need to find solutions within. Some of these solutions, for example, is when you talk about fuel. And one of the solutions is that we can target subsidies on fuel such that we help especially farmers, to produce at a lower cost so that they can sell at a reasonable price. That way, we will reduce the, the, the commodity prices. Of course, where, do, where does the money come from? The money, well, let's look at the private sector. The private sector should come in and help us. IMF, we should be very careful when we are handling IMF issues. Let's follow that, that path, but can we find some solution somewhere? Can we find some solution somewhere, not just relying on IMF? Because at the end of the day, when people run amok, it, it might not be okay. And as we are doing all these things, let us engage positively. Calling each other names, calling, dragging each other down, 
hey aka inde ichile ma hey now firu hey what 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 we will not help us destabilizing government basically destabilizing government will is not a solution it's just going to make things worse but if we can you know pull each other together and see what is it that we can do we can help alemwele lapo balungu is not a solution not a solution not 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 a solution because even if balungu was in power these problems would have still be there and maybe they would have even been more than what we have remember he didn't have so much good will from the western world so at least by hh bali kwatako kantwa nkanikaja and he's doing well with going to china and whatever whatever so at least ka good will emokali balungu did not command the good will that haka in the hlm is commanding this is a fact so alewe is a, is an is not a solution and even if Valungu had those solutions unfortunately unfortunately Valungu cannot fight to become president because politics in its nature it is rough it is aggressive it can be oppressive it can be it can be a um, what is what is the word there is persecution that is just the nature of politics but unfortunately balungu physically psychologically cannot do that in terms of strategy he doesn't have it people surrounding him don't they don't inspire anyone that these are people that can sit and craft something no so really really balungu is no solution and therefore in my view balungu would be better off choosing the path of being a statesman than to offer himself as a political punching bag for Haka in the HLM. because indeed he's in a position where Haka in the HLM can be waking up every day and exercise on him before he comes to us he's in that position there are so many things that surrounds Haka in the, by Edgar Lungu which HH can pick on at any point even the issue of of immunity can be done because already as we as it is in pf there is division some mps are not in favor of aid galungu a number of them they are not in favor of aid galungu and it is very easy for them to get a two third majority i've given you an example of bill 10 if they manage to hammer you on bill 10 when you are in power what about now what about now some mps are not with him and the evidence of that is how enthusiastic mps have been to have a constitutional conference a constitutional conference which should lead to a general conference a general conference which should bring in a new president and if mps are calling for a new president how can you say that the, the mps are with edgar lungu no no All right, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.